Ein Bein mehr hat. Welcome back to Tales and Treasures. I'm your host, Private Almeida. Today's mission is to talk about Medal of Honor Frontline. So indeed, welcome back to another installment of Back to the Past. Medal of Honor Frontline is one of my favorite childhood games, but I haven't played it for a while. As we go back to the past and play this nostalgic game, let's take a look what this game is all about and how it feels to play today. Does it still hold up or is it just nostalgia? Also, let me know what you think of this game and if you do, have some fond memories playing it. Medal of Honor Frontline was only released on GameCube, PS2 and Xbox. But I'll be playing on the original Xbox since that's the one that I had as a kid. Frontline is set in 1944, during the Second World War, and it starts with one of the most famous battles in history, D-Day. And it is brutal. This first mission is so unforgivingly hard, as was the original battle. When I tried playing the campaign on this game as a kid, I never even got past the beach. First time I actually beat this game was just a couple of years ago. Now, I'm playing on a normal difficulty here, and I think it took me like an hour to finish the whole first mission. And it isn't a long section by any means. This game doesn't really have any checkpoints, so every time you die, you have to start the whole mission from the beginning. Which can at points get a bit frustrating. The plot itself is mostly about going behind the enemy lines and sabotaging the Nazi equipment. The missions have plenty of variety in the locales, but otherwise they are mostly very straightforward and linear. Shoot the Nazis. Advance. Shoot more Nazis. Plant the bomb. Kaboom! Shoot even more Nazis. Still, I find Frontline very interesting and engaging to play. It's hard to stop once I've started. Graphics might not be the best for the era, but still pretty nice overall. Characters look like they are actually in a war by having a bit of a scruffy look. Although it could be argued that the game in general has a scruffy look due to the textures. But in my opinion, it does look quite beautiful at times when you look at the larger scene or background. Do note that my Elgato capture seems to be making the footage look more pixelated than it actually is. I'm not sure why that is. Then the music. Music is really nice as well. Some of the best background music from any war game I've played. So it's a very immersive game with the way it looks, how the story and missions advance and how the music works 
by giving so much more feeling to every mission and their locales. It just provides such an amazing atmosphere. Combined with the gorgeous environments, this game actually looks and feels way better than it might actually be at first glance. What about the controls and other more technical stuff? I'm not the most knowledgeable guy on the technical side of things in games. I just either enjoy the game or I don't. But since the idea is to see how well this game holds up, let's give it a good old college try. The controls are a bit on the slower side and it makes aiming a real pain at times. And unfortunately, there isn't any options to make it any faster and more accurate. But as you play more of the missions, you start to get used to it and it doesn't bother you as much as it does at the beginning of the game. Also, there seems to be some jittering on the screen while playing. If I'm correct, on the Xbox, the frame rate on Frontline should be 60 FPS, but it does drop sometimes. But overall, it is pretty consistent. It's not that distracting when you're really concentrating on not getting killed in action, but it is still quite noticeable when it happens, especially because the aiming and turning is so slow. It seems to be much worse when I'm capturing footage compared to playing regularly. Don't know if it's the Elgato or my laptop itself. I think it might be the laptop. But when you're playing normally, everything's just fine 99% of the time, which is the important part. One thing I don't remember is the game looking so dark. Do modern screens make older games look darker than they are supposed to be? Or am I just imagining things? Let me know what you think or if you have some facts to throw on the table. I would love to know. Also, I'd be at remiss if I didn't talk about Medal of Honor HD. It was released on the PlayStation 3 on 2010 Medal of Honor, but only on the Tier 1 edition and limited edition of the game. Why would they release it that way? But anyways, the HD version of Frontline has, I think, some added textures, but also smoothed out graphics and more lights. It makes it easier to play because you can see better what's going on. But I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the way the smoothing makes the game look. The scruffiness of the original gave the game more character and also sort of hid the flaws better. The button mappings on the PS3 controller are very different in a weird way from the Xbox version that in my opinion don't make much sense. But you get used to it pretty quickly. Plus the movement and the aiming has been made much better than in the original. Otherwise it's pretty much the same game as it was and it's really nice to have it available on the PS3. I also appreciate that it has trophies implemented. Would have been nicer if it wasn't exclusive to PS3 version of 2010 Medal of Honor. I really would love to have it on the Xbox 360 version as well. And separate physical release, it would have been pure awesomeness. I'd buy that, wouldn't you? Now, like I said, Medal of Honor Frontline is one of my favorite childhood games. But how can that be if I never got past the D-Day Beach, which is the very first mission on the game? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's because I played so much of the split-screen multiplayer with my sister, Arami. I have a lot of fond memories of us playing Frontline together. But I don't think my sister shares that sentiment. Let's take a look at what she said in a previous episode. And after that, an extended cut of us playing together the multiplayer map Bullseye Bridge. She shot me in the head every time. He climbed on the tower and she shot me in the head. I never won that game. Never. I never won 
Okay, so we are here with my sister Armi to play one of our child childhood's favorite games. That is your opinion. Yeah, well, m one of my childhood favorite games. <laughs> Let, let's see how it turns out. So nostalgic. I hate this game. <laughs> so bad. I thought you liked playing this game with me. Never. By the way, did you ever notice about the original Xbox controllers that they look like a toaster? Wow. <laughs> Fuck. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> really? What? <laughs> this is the best game ever. Yeah, right. I fucking hate you. Can you see me anywhere? Okay. Oh no 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 no! Run, bitch! I got you now. No! Actually, the game uh, would say suggest you know otherwise that I'm the best. Fuck you. <laughs> See, eleven to one. I mean, the game was uh, supposed to be uh, <laughs> ten kills, but I was so good that I actually got eleven kills. And I had one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I hate this game, really. This was last time I get, play game with you. <laughs> last Especially time. this game. Mm. I don't know. It's a pretty good game. You should get one. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> I can't help it that I'm just naturally so much better than my sister. So, to recap, Medal of Honor Frontline is pretty cool and addictive to play. It doesn't have the best graphics or the smoothest controls, and the AI can be a bit aggressive at times at knowing where you are, but the overall atmosphere really does pull you in. I do feel like it could have been a bit better if it had been an Xbox exclusive. I think that GameCube and PS2 sort of held the game back a little bit. Please don't shoot me. When you play this game, you feel like you've been pulled into the set of Saving Private Ryan. All the scenery and the ruins just seem like they've been designed after watching that movie. I might be looking at this through some rose-colored lenses, but I do think that this game is something special. 
And if you haven't played it already, you should. Je m'appelle Marcus. I'm the war photographer. What's going on here? Huh. What is that glimmer over there? What? 